This is how I turned a backyard into Greece in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's break it down. So the idea behind this scene was to have me in a paradise looking area. The name of the film that we were shooting was It's Not the Place, It's the People. And the previous scenes that were playing before this was a group of friends hanging out in just a regular house basement area. So we really wanted to showcase with this film that even if you are in one of the most beautiful places in the world, if you're not with the right people, it doesn't matter. So the first thing we did was find this backyard set to have as our base layer. So we went to the set and filmed this scene of me taking off my sunglasses and looking sad. And and that's about it. But since this video is for social media and we're filming vertically, there's a lot of extra empty room in the shot that we really wanted to get rid of. So I'm gonna start here by just taking a screenshot of any frame from this clip. It doesn't matter which one. And I'm going to take that frame into Adobe Photoshop. Now, what we're gonna do here is use Adobe Generative Fill to replace the sky. So let's maybe say blue skies, white buildings, in Greece. That <laughs> actually is kind of cool. We're getting somewhere. This is not bad for the first one. Wow. <laughs> that already makes it look a thousand times better. One thing I don't like about this shot in particular though is it does have these clouds in it and it's a pretty quick clip so it wouldn't matter too much but technically those clouds would probably be moving even slightly so it's probably best if we don't have any clouds. I might add mountain just see if that adds anything. Just wanna fill it up just a little bit more. So let's see what that comes up with. Ooh, that one is kind of crazy looking. Whoa. <laughs> Adobe Generative Fill can be so fun. I mean, if we zoom in and really get picky with this, it's a little splotchy right here, but I think we can fix that. And it's so far in the background that like you can hardly tell anyway. The scene with the windmill though looks so good. That looks insane. I'm just gonna keep clicking generate and I might just come up with a few options because these are all looking really good. All right, so before I move on any farther, I'm just gonna start exporting these because we're getting so many good ones. All right, so I've saved about four or five now. So let's head back into Premiere and edit this guy in. So I'm dragging all of these over top and we see we got a whole bunch of different options to choose from. And what I wanna do now is mask out the top of this shot because Obviously these were still frames, but underneath that is the video of me looking around, looking sad. So let's click on the first one here, go to opacity and create a four point mask. And we're gonna drag this up and just cover the very top of this building. Now the hardest part of this is going to be around this umbrella. It's gonna get a little bit messed up, but it's also not to scale right now since this photo is a little bit bigger than it should be. So let's scale this down. It needs to come down a little bit more. It actually matches up the umbrella quite nice. Cool, and then we just gotta pull up that corner right up the top, get that out of there. And one is done. So if I play this, it looks completely real. It looks like a real video. And to save a little bit of time, I'm going to copy that mask onto all of the rest of the Adobe Generative Fill photos. So the cool thing now is we can just let this video play and we can see which background we like the most with the video when it's playing. This is so tough. Every single one of these looks so good. I love this one because it has all these buildings and it looks a lot like Greece. I've never been to Greece, but I've seen the photos. Planting this one up here looks so real, it's insane. I love the simplicity of these two and the mountain in the background of this one looks really good. So I don't know how to narrow this one down. I'm gonna leave it just like this for now. Sorry, I'm getting a little distracted right now looking at these. I'm just kind of blown away with how good this looks. Anyway, the next thing I wanna do now is add a pool down by my feet. There's not much going on down here, so the idea we had was to add a pool in. Now, if we try using that same technique with Adobe Generative Fill, we'll notice that even if we add a pool in, it doesn't really make sense because the pool, the water would be moving around and you'd be able to tell that. So what we did instead was actually just take this little clip of the pool that was at our stay. So what we're gonna do is drag that clip over everything and then let's mask out this pool. So again, we'll do another four point mask and I don't know if I want all the cement in there or if I should just make it right to the ledge. Maybe I'll make it just right to the edge there. Yeah, I think that would be good. Also a pro tip is we had our tripod at the exact same height in each of these scenes. So each scene should have the same perspective and look natural. So let's just drag this down a little bit and see how it looks. 
a little too close to my feet, maybe a little bit lower. This is crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy what you can do with video. I'm actually gonna duplicate this water clip since it's not quite long enough. So let's go ahead and watch this back. This looks so good. Honestly, I still cannot decide which grease background I like the most because they all look so good, especially with the pool. I feel like it just brings this entire scene to life. And just to refresh our memory here, here's what the scene originally looked like. So let's add in our Jenner to fill background. And now let's add in the pool. Even just having the pool looks okay, but the telephone wires in there still don't really complete the scene. So having those generative fill photos in there, it brings it together so much. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Let's wrap up this video with a side-by-side -side comparison of the before and after. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.